The shoe Alex Honnold pre-sold half to him in, and Adam Andres sent silence 515 deep. What can the Las Portiva Muras do for you? Hey guys, Brian here with some more Bomber Beta. Today I got special guest, uh, John, my brother. Glad to be here. Uh, and he is a big fan of the Las Portiva Muras, and uh, I'm really excited to share some of my knowledge of the shoe and his knowledge as well. As you can see, we have three different pairs here. Um, we have one of the older models here, uh, and then we have two of the newer uh, Mura models. These shoes have been around for over 20 years, uh, probably one of the oldest climbing shoes still in production today. Day. Uh, they have a nice leather upper as you can see uh, very thick um, very hardy uh, leather uh, sometimes known as cowboy leather uh, I'd say cowboy leather yeah, is correct yeah definitely cowboy leather um, they, they uh, support a nice uh, four millimeter Vibram XS edge rubber really good stuff very grippy um, and uh, very stiff but sensitive, I would say. Would you agree with that, John? I would agree with that. Okay, awesome. So the, um, the sizing of these shoes are gonna be, you're gonna probably wanna downsize compared to most shoes just a little bit. I know like for me, uh, in, with the uh, Instincts, you know, this is my favorite shoe personally. I'm, I have these in uh, 42 and a half and these in uh, 41s so you guys might want to go on size squirrel i've reviewed them and i'll give, leave a link in the description um, they will probably suggest you doing that as well um, I, so just they they fit fairly comfortably um, and they will break in a little bit um, they're not as aggressive as most shoes um, you can see uh, they're fairly flat actually um, compared to some like really aggressive shoes here um, but they will they like if you look on them online they'll look more aggressive than they are uh, they're definitely more of a flat shoe uh, and they don't quite hold that edge but I know that uh, the XX which I don't know if you can really get anymore they had the P3 band here and they had a little more downturned um, yeah so the Adamandra Miras they yeah they had the P3 and they definitely hold the downturn more but these tend to once they break in after a, a few wears they're gonna flatten out and just become you know pretty pretty flat shoe pretty neutral yeah pretty neutral um so anyways going on we're going to look at the uh our rating scale we have for the Las Portiva Muras. Um, first off, we have the edging, and we gave it a five out of five. Uh, John, you want to tell us about the edging capabilities of these shoes and what kind of rocks you climb on and stuff like that? Yeah, so these shoes have the excess edge, um, and you can imagine with the edge, um, it's going to be really good. Um, I primarily climb on granite boulders and uh, sport climbing. Everything is pretty much an edge um, that isn't going to be in cut generally, so you're going to get just like a nice, you know, edge on that with that excess edge. I don't think, you know, there's a rubber or, you know, a shoe that can really stand up to it because you're not having that downturn toe um, that tends to kind of give you some different. Um, Angles, angles and stuff like that yep. yeah so if you so like i'll bring these kind of shoes out sometimes if it's a flatter edge you might almost struggle to get your heel or your heel down into a nice position to where you can press on that where these are going to maybe leave you in a more natural state to get on that nice little edge and get that really good press um now we did uh when we were talking about making this video we talked about how this edging capability drops slightly as the shoe breaks in and uh, the rubber starts to wear out. But I mean, that's what you're going to find in any shoe. So obviously, like fresh out of the box, they're going to be perfect edging. And then 
uh, like these are a little more the ones over here are a little more worn in and you can see they they hold up to it pretty well but that edge gets a little rounded and they're going to get a little softer um, but that's what you're going to find with any shoe yep. um, yes you are so going on to smearing we give this a three out of five this is the same case as the edging too this one's going to get better as the shoe gets older like i know that um uh, John is using these particular shoes for the edging and these for the smearing more so. So, you know, having um, kind of that flexibility in, like if you get multiple pairs, if you really get these and you like them, buy another pair before the first pair is worn out, then maybe you can go and, and kind of start to use them for different cases and stuff like that. Um, did you have anything else to say about that? Nope, I think that sums it up. Okay. So, going on to the toe, uh, the toe hook is, is in particular, uh, one out of five. There's not much rubber here. Like, you can see, like, on another shoe that has, like, a good amount of toe hooking rubber. Um, these are not going to be what you're picking. Um, so, John, what do you do when you have to uh, toe hook with these guys? Uh, so I climb with these shoes about 99% of the time, and when I'm forced to use a toe hook, I have to pull out another pair of shoes that actually has toe rubber. Um, I think because they're not downturn and they have the lacing system on the top here, um, it really just doesn't allow for any friction when you're doing a toe hook. So if it's something that really requires that toe hook to, you know, get a lot of friction on there and and you know pull hard on it then you're not going to be able to do anything yeah. so basically grab another shoe with a bunch of toe hook rubber so um although generally you can get by with it but if it's a cruxy toe hook then yeah obviously you don't want to grab something else going on to the heel the heel we give a five out of five it's it's a, like a lot of heels the more traditional style they're very simple um they're thick and they're stiff and they have good amount of rubber on them. I mean, it's pretty similar to uh, the Instinct heel, as you can see here. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference to them. This one's a little wider, and this one's a little narrower. But if you, you know, if you're wearing Lost Sportiva shoes, you'll probably like it. Obviously, it has a different heel than the than the Solution. Yep. But this is the more traditional, and it just it works. It's it's really. I mean, what would you say? The, do you actually like the lace for the heel, correct? Like if you can get yes. those really tight, maybe more tension than you can get in a Velcro system uh, with these laces and get that really tight fit for that nice heel. And this thing is like really, really solid, right? It's like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's solid. like I'm not really, this is, this is one of the more solid heels I've felt. You have so much rubber to use too. I mean, the, the whole entire heel is, you know, basically rubber. So if you stick that on just about anything, um, as long as it's not like a small slot or something like that, it's going to work. And, uh, with the lace up, um, I've never had a case in years of it actually slipping off. Like that heel is always on. It's not going to come off. Uh, if you size it right, it's going to stay there. You're going to stick it on a hold, and it's probably going to stay. Yeah, I'd also say about the lace-ups, like the way they have these designed, they, there's a lot of friction going through each one of these like loops. Like in a traditional shoe, it's just a little eyelet, but these have this whole like rubber thing, or excuse me, this leather thing that it has to go through. Um, so even if you don't really tie you're not tight like there's no way that it's going to be able to pull through each one of those um little like channels and, and and loosen the shoe up so that's like another reason why that is just it's almost like a pain to put them on they're like so much friction there but it works when you're climbing so hey um going on to comfort these are actually a surprisingly comfortable shoe if it fits your foot like for me personally like i wouldn't say it fits my foot exactly um i would definitely want to maybe uh almost size up a little bit to get like that all day style comfort like there is like that old footage of alex honnold doing half dome in these um so like obviously he's climbing that for multiple hours um with the same shoes on i'm sure he wasn't downsizing but 
they do have that all day style comfort yet they can like we saw in um adam andre's case uh be able to climb the hardest sport route in the world and do toe jams and all kinds of crazy stuff so um they obviously have that all day comfort but they also have that performance um so they're really really pretty amazing and, and like you're saying how long can you wear these shoes like at one time i i think you know i can wear them for a few hours if you know if i really needed to um even though they're downsized pretty far for me um i wear like a 40 and a half and and that's definitely much smaller than any other shoe i have but it, it's just you know you're not really like torquing your foot down with the downturn or anything and you know with the lace up you can get it basically as comfortable as you want it um, so they're hard to beat in that. I mean, if, if you're doing long multi-pitches, upsize them maybe a little bit because, you know, you don't really need the downturn um, or you don't need the downsize. So that's Obviously. one option. Yep. So um, going on to the last thing, durability. Um, so the one shoe that uh, would be a perfect use case, or I guess an example for this would be uh, John's first pair of these that he resold, he believes four times, maybe five. Um, none of these have been resold, but as you can see, like these have been, you've been using these for over a year now, I'm pretty sure, and like they look very solid. Um, the toe's still like a lot of rubber there. Um, you know, these bands look fine, like the heels got a little bit, a little bit of battle wounds there from, uh, some of some dry fires the other day out at the boulders but um you know hey they're they're solid they have this thick uh rubber or excuse me leather um nice padding uh the new lining and the newer ones but yeah i mean these things are gonna last you for a long time a lot longer than most shoes like i can pull out a couple like i can pull out these old uh katanas uh i mean you can see these blew through pretty quickly, a little chewed up for sure. In comparison to another Sportiva shoe, I would say they have more lifespan. I mean, you can see, like I, I've showed you guys these before, but you know, big hole there. Um, another thing was like this little band gets a little chewed up. I think on the other one it was worse. But like this is, these, these haven't been resold. This is like one time through. The toe's not even completely blown out. And these shoes are eaten up, um, whereas these are lasting a lot longer um, than most shoes. Um, so let's do a couple. Uh, we'll just do some side by sides, um, and then uh, let's see what we can do. Um, so we got these uh, Scarpa Furas. Um, you can see actually similar asymmetric profile to these shoes. Um, but obviously much different use case. Bottom of the shoe just looks completely different. Uh, these are gonna be that solid sole, give you a little more support. These are gonna be really flexible. Um, yeah, looking at another um, Scarpa, we have the uh, Vapors. These are gonna be a little less asymmetrical. So like, if you don't like an asymmetric shoe, these might not be good, but um, you know, if you've tried these on, then you'll kind of know if that's within your comfort level. Um, bottom, these have like kind of like this, like semi mid, or split sole, um, which is kind of unique and it gives you a little bit of support with like more flexibility, but obviously uh, a little different than the Mira's. Uh, this one is gonna be a little bit of a different size. This is the women's uh, Mira VS, the Velcro variation. You can see this one is, even though it's a different size, it's quite different shoe. Um, John, you wanna maybe give me a little bit more of your experience with the differences here? Yeah, so I know one of the big differences is that it's gonna hold its downturn a little bit more. Um, that's kind of the key thing. They're, they're just more of an aggressive shoe. Um, obviously the Velcro is you know a big difference for some people, they would you know rather get that shoe on and off real quick. Um, and then just kind of the the whole system where your foot slides in. I mean, that's that's definitely different. But 
you know, it, it, it is a comparable shoe, but it definitely holds a lot of differences. Um, and I think the downturn is, is the big difference there. Yeah. So basically, if you like one of these, you might not like the other one. So just be aware that they are a different shoe, even though they have a lot of similarities. Um, I think we kind of looked at this one already, but you can see if you have the old katanas, uh, you can see not quite as asymmetrical, um, similar bottom profile. These are going to be one of the more similar bottom profiles and similar neutral kind of fit. I guess I'll show them next to uh, these shoes. A lot of you guys have these. Um, more asymmetrical, no toe hook rubber, um, and again, much different uh, bottom layer, much more support. And then Lastly, because uh, a lot of beginners are going to have this shoe, this one's going from a very blunt toe to a very pointy asymmetrical toe, but, you know, the bottoms are fairly similar, although, like, these, you know, I guess you guys can't really see that, but these are super soft and these are very stiff, so that's something to keep in mind, but these are not going to be, like, so stiff that you can't, um, feel your toe but you know, it might just be something that like if you're coming from these you're going to need to get used to it and generally beginner shoes are going to be a little bit softer um, and they're not going to have very much uh, they're going to have a little bit of sensitivity on the toe whereas these you're just going to have to get used to it a little bit but really I hope you guys like this review um, go ahead and you check out this um, you can find these in the link in the description below uh, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.